Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be trying these rainbow fluorite crystal nails. I got the inspiration to do these nails by Emily Susanna here on YouTube, as well as the nail vibes on Instagram. I'll be linking both of them down below. I'm starting off by placing my tips. I got these tips off Amazon and they're so extra long. I'll link these down below as well in case you're interested. So now I take some white and some clear and I'm starting off with just painting those little white lines going every which way. I like to start off with this before laying any acrylic colors down just so it'll really give it a look of depth. You don't have to be too precise with it. Whichever way you want the lines to go, just do them. If you want, you can just take a photo and try your best to recreate that. But for me, I'm just doing whatever feels best, wherever I want the lines to go. I'm not being too precise or too specific with where I'm placing the lines. I've tried crystal nails in the past and they've come out decent, but it's definitely a nail design that I personally want to improve on. It's one of those designs that there's so many different ways of achieving the look that you want. So, you know, if you're ever struggling with a nail design, don't give up. Keep trying, keep practicing, maybe try a different way of doing it, try a new technique, and practice makes perfect. So let's cure that. So now I'm taking my monomer, I'm going to put a few drops of purple gel polish in and mix it in. I'm using Mia Secrets Clear Acrylic Powder and let's see how the color looks. If we need to adjust it, we will. I think that looks good. I still want to keep a good level of transparency so that we can see that depth but I also don't want it to be crystal clear. Here I am going in with a little bit more purple just to give it a little bit more color. I didn't feel like I had enough. Using this monomer trick and putting whatever color gel polish, I believe you can use regular polish too, I've only used it with gel, but I've seen other people use regular old nail polish, and using this trick and dropping them in your monomer is genius. Acrylic powder can be expensive, especially if you're buying quality stuff, so doing this allows you to experiment with different colors and create different looks with acrylic without having to spend that money every time. And here I am doing the same thing with the green color. I'm taking my monomer, putting a few drops of the greens that I want, and mixing that in. 
and here's how it swatches. I like how that looks. Like I said, I do want it to be transparent enough that you can see through the layers, but also I don't want it to be so clear that there doesn't even look like there's any layers. Here I am laying that. Like I said, this trick is perfect if you're a beginner, if you want to experiment with acrylic, try different colors. I found it's best to use this with either a clear acrylic powder or a white. And so really all you need to buy are those two, your monomer, and then whatever gel colors you want, or even regular polish, and this works perfectly. Once those are all set, I'm going again with some white lines. I'm being a little bit more specific about where I'm placing these ones, and this is gonna be on our second layer. So these ones should appear like they're more forward, whereas the ones we did before should appear like they're more back just to really give it that depth. That's really what I'm going for when I was creating these nails. I'm not gonna be adding any more lines after that, so at this point I'm just building up the nail, building up the color, adding some strength, adding some pigment. If you want to follow my TikTok or my Instagram, here it is at kaylas.nailartistry. I post TikToks all the time. I try to post on Instagram every day. If you're at all interested, you can follow me there and I'll include those down below as well. So now I'm taking some gold leaf and I'm adding that with some clear acrylic, placing those here and there. I'm not being too specific with where I'm placing the gold leaf either. Just kind of scattered. And now I'm going to encapsulate all those with clear. So here they are, application only. I'm going in with my hand file to shape these up. I mostly just use a hand file, but I will use a drill to get in by the cuticle the best that I can. Here they are all filed, and now we're gonna top coat them. Once these are top coated, I feel like that's what really brings this set alive and makes it look like actual crystals. I think it's so stunning. I love how they came out. I'm going to cure those one more time, and here they are. They're absolutely beautiful. I can't believe how stunning they look with the top coat. They really look like I have crystals on my nails. I'll do some shots in the sun as well. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please subscribe if you like the video. Comment what you want to see next, and I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Bye!